What if I told you, you can now create entire doodle sketch videos inside Create Studio? And what if you could completely control the path of your animations with point and click flexibility? Well, now you can. Thanks to our latest update, you can do it all in just seconds. Sketch videos just like this are perfect for YouTube and educational content, VSLs, and promotional videos. And in our latest update, you can now sketch images, videos, text, and even characters within a few clicks. And what's cool is you now have both options to draw out the path manually or save time and allow our software to do it all automatically for you. So let's dive inside and take a closer look at how it works. run through and show you how to create the doodle effect on each of the different types of media. So the first one is video. So if you go into the drop down over here, you have to see we've got a new row which says doodle effects. So simply click on the plus icon to add a doodle effect. And with this video, what I like to do is use the hide hand option so that it just draws out the video and reveals it like a transition like this. So you can also adjust the duration by simply dragging this out to the right if you want to make it slower or bring it to the left to make it faster. And you see it looks really good as like a transition to a video clip. Okay, the next one is images. So what we can do is actually draw out a manual path with this illustration. So I'm just going to go to the image over here and go to doodle effects. And this image I basically got over here on the images icon. If you go to illustrations and go to line characters, you can grab the same one over here. And I'm just going to simply click on the settings icon and then go to manual and then click on edit path. And this is going to enable me to draw out my points on the image and reveal it exactly as I like. So what you need to make note of is you need to hold down shift and click to add a point. And if you want to remove points, hold down shift plus control and then click to remove the point. So I'm holding down shift. I'm going to left click and just draw out this image. And you can see the white dotted line basically shows you the path of the hand which is going to draw out the image and the purple part on the outside is the amount of the image that's going to be revealed okay when it's drawn out so you can adjust that drawing size by bringing it up like this if you want it to make it you know really reveal a lot of the image um, if you want to do something really precise you can make it a lot smaller like that and yeah just reveal certain parts of the image okay so i'm just going to bring it up to about 69 or so and what I'm going to do is just continue drawing out this quickly Okay, cool, so I've added all my points and if you want to make adjustments to your points You can simply left click without holding shift and you can move the points again like that 
really easily you can you know go through and you can also add more points by holding down shift and click okay so let's just have a look at what that looks like if I click on finish and just preview this cool so that's really really good and again you can adjust the duration if you want to make it faster or slower you can also you know select a different hand and we've added a whole bunch of new hands at the end over here if I just go across you guys see we've got some new hands that you can select as well to reveal your image okay cool so a couple of other options as well so you've got the hand size so if you make the time indicator in between the animation and go to doodle effects you can adjust the size of your hand if I just zoom out a bit what you want to make sure of is that the hand isn't too small so if you have it like this you're going to see that it's going to cut out the hand and it's not going to look very good so make sure that the hand is big enough to kind of come outside the actual canvas of your video and yeah you can just go through and play that through so just select the hand and let's make something like this make this one a bit bigger and you can also adjust the amount of shaking so if you want to make it shake quite a bit while it's revealing you can do that as well and let's just play this through cool so now I've got my character over here. I'm going to show you how to reveal the character. Again, so you go to Doodle Effects and let's go to Manual, Edit Path, and I'm going to hold down Shift and just simply draw out this character. Okay, cool. So what I want to show you is you can see that some of this image is not being fully revealed. I'm just going to remove the unmask when it's done and let's go with this one here. And let's just preview this okay cool so as you can see you've got this mask that I've drawn but it's not revealing the entire character which doesn't look very good as you can see like that so what you want to do by default we have unmask when it's done and this is going to basically once it's drawn out the character it's going to remove the mask so you can see the entire character so make sure that's selected when you're drawing out characters it looks the best and again, when you are drawing out the character, what you want to do is make sure that you're revealing as much of the character as possible like this. Okay, so just bringing this out like that. And let's go to finish. And I'll preview this. Okay, cool. So you might want to go through and actually select like a 3D character hand like this. And I'll just quickly adjust that once more. If I go over here. I might bump up that drawing size of it as well like this and go to finish editing cool so it's looking really good I just play it one more time and it's probably best as well if you're doing a character just have like the idle action first so that once it's drawing it out it's in idle and then once it's revealed then you have your action that you want to show like the thumbs up or something like that okay Cool, so for the text effect, we've got the same one as we had before. So again, you just go to text effects, select doodle, and then you can adjust, you know, the hand and yeah, have your text doodling. And we've also made sure that when you add the doodle effect that by default, we've added the anchor point to the top left so that it will write from the left to the right without moving the text like that. And one other thing as well, we've added um, the ability, if you hold down shift and then click and drag, you'll be able to see that now you can move your objects in an entire you know, straight line horizontally as well as vertically like this, which is really good for animating. And we've also added the option if you select you know, an object on the timeline and hold down shift and then click again, you'll be able to see that it selects everything from the top to the bottom like that, um, which is really helpful if you want to select everything like that and create a group. Um, and you can also manually just hold down command and click to select you know multiple tracks like that so i hope you enjoy this update um, as always make sure to download the latest version to see these in your account and yeah have fun creating Alright, so let's take a look at what's new inside Create Studio. 
Now the first thing we've done is with the doodle effect, we've added the ability to manually draw out text paths. Okay, so before we had it with images and videos, but now I've also added the ability to manually draw out your text path and you can simply, you know, clear the path and go in here and, you know, shift click, add your manual path like so and draw out your text. You can also obviously go through with the automatic one as well to save yourself some time. And what we've also done is now added the ability also to erase your media using you know a pencil rubber or we've got these whiteboard erasers as well and a whole bunch of different types of hands as you can see. So let's just preview this like so. And that's looking really, really good. So you can also go ahead obviously and let's say we wanna grab maybe something like this like a whiteboard one and it just rubs off like that. What we've also done is we've improved the left side panel studio builder. So you've about to see now that the thumbnails are a lot bigger. We've added now just two thumbnails per row and this is gonna give you a better experience when navigating through the assets, um, having a bigger preview like so. And one other thing we've done is we've added under the doodle category over here, for all users we've added a whole bunch of placing hands. So this is free for all Create Studio users once you update. So let me click on that and you're about to see we've got all these hands either with text or images and they basically place on the, the media and you can go ahead and adjust that. So let's say for example you want to go grab this hand here with an image. I can simply drag and drop this on the screen and you're about to see if I just play this through that we've got this hand placing the media on and you can click on this replace image and click on the replace button and choose your own media and it will basically place that on like so which is really cool and it also comes back over here and drags it off like that. Now one other thing as well with the uh, doodle effect is if we go and grab, I'm gonna go grab my Create Studio logo like this and place this on and I'll make the color black and just center that. Is you can obviously go through and if I add the doodle effect like this, I can hide the hand and this is gonna draw it on without having that uh, you know, hand drawing it. And the same thing with the erasing, we can enable that and hide the hand like so. And if we just preview this, you're about to see this really cool effect you can add. Like that. And you can also go through and you know adjust that manual path so you can draw it on and off however you like. But these are the main updates inside Create Studio. And to celebrate these new Doodle effects, what we've done is put together a massive package of all our Doodle effects, characters, and transition and things like that. And we're making them available for the next couple of days at a special low one-time price. So make sure to click on the button below to check out that package. Uh, you can also get access via the All Access Pass. And also make sure to download the latest version of Create Studio to see these updates added your, into your account. So I hope you've enjoyed these updates and as always have fun creating and have a great week.
that is it for today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!